we've all heard of the broken window fallacy, which is the fallacy where if you use the state or any commonwealth in order to gain some sort of profit in terms of transactions such as having everyone be forced to pay money for schooling which helps economy or warfare now <clears throat> that in itself is logical it is logical to assume that that's a fallacy in itself because yeah what's seen is what you get with those services but the unseen is just as important like what if that money could have gone to something like new businesses or banks that would have helped people get more jobs that in its own self is true however there is a limitation to this that voluntarists don't really get completely or at least most of the ones that I see and that's in the event that there's an emergency like you need some sort of missile to launch at a meteor that's about to impact us and maybe damage the environment severely and our health kind of the same way more or less as a nuclear bomb you kind of need to avoid a free rider problem in order to get the money to get those resources to make that missile to shoot off onto that meteor and this isn't a cause for a state commonwealth since states are just things to bring people together for to a government for some strange fantasy or ideology so it's not like an involuntary payment for some guy to some poor guy to go to school or some homeless guy to pay for the medicine for his dog this is like something like that's an actual emergency something that isn't just some broken window fallacy cuz even if there was a nuclear apocalypse that's imminent There'd still be a freaking free rider problem if we need the money from the people to pay for that missile if we don't already have that money in the first place. You don't need a state for that free rider issue to be solved. However, it happens and voluntary payments are the result of property and property is part of what makes people or living things the way they are the fact that they have things in use that you can't take more or less possessions if you don't agree with the term property for whatever reason in certain contexts Alright, so this has been another Mr. Wonka 7 video, and peace.